Good morning, and welcome to today's tutorial on Ethers RS, the Rust web free library that's gaining popularity with blockchain developers. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up a Rust script that will connect to a smart contract on a blockchain network, enabling you to fetch, display on chain data using the Ethers RS library. If you're looking to integrate Rust with Ethereum, then you're in the right place. First things first, let's talk about prerequisites. You'll need Rust installed on your device. I'll be using Windows Subsystem for the Linux here, which I highly recommend for this kind of project. If you don't have it set up yet, take a moment to install or update Rust before proceeding. Now let's kick things off by creating a new Rust project. Open up your terminal and type cargo new ethers test. This command initializes a new Rust package with the name ethers test. Once you have your new project, you can go into that directory and we need to add some dependencies to the cargo toml file. These dependencies are crucial as they will provide the necessary libraries for our project. Go ahead and add the following lines. Note there is a blog post linked to in the description which has this code and it's also open sourced on GitHub. The Ethers library is the backbone of our project, providing us with the tools to interact with an RPC node on the Ethereum blockchain. We're also using Tokyo, which is an asynchronous runtime that allows our Rust code to perform non-blocking operations. In this example, I'm using Infura as an access point to the Ethereum network. Infura provides a scalable API for Ethereum and other EVM blockchains. To get your free Infura API key, you'll need to sign up at Infura website and create a new project. Once you have your key, let's uh, securely export that into an environmental variable by typing into your terminal, export Infura API key equals and put your API key in. The environmental variable will be used in your Rust script to authenticate with Infura's nodes. Moving on, we'll need a contract address and an ABI. ABI is an application binder interface. It's like a boilerplate or an instruction set for interacting with smart contracts. I'm going to use an ERC721 NFT contract on the Gorelli testnet. To get the ABI, we're going to navigate to gorelli.etherscan.io, put in the contract address, and then go to the code section where at the bottom you will find an option to export the ABI. Let's save this as a JSON file uh, in the same source directory. Once we're all set up, let's now go ahead and edit our main.rs file. This is where our main script will live. I'll walk you through the code in detail, but you can also find this code on GitHub and the link in the description. The first few lines of code were importing the various components from the Ethers RS library and the standard Rust libraries that we're going to be using. Then in the main function, we are passing in the contract address and setting up the ABI using ABI gem, which is a part of the Ethers RS library. We can then set up a provider using the RPC URL with the API key added at the end. If you get any errors here, check that the API, the API key has actually been exported to your environmental variables on your system. We then create a contract instance using the contract address, the ABI and the provider. We can then use this to call the smart contract function for the symbol function with no parameters, which will return the ticker symbol for that NFT. Finally, we print this to standard out and return OK. Save the code and let's go and build it and run it. So go back to your terminal and type in cargo run. If all goes well, it should build for a few minutes and then you should see an output of WAGMI. We're all going to make it. This is the on-chain data returned from the smart contract. Hopefully this tutorial has provided some insights into how Rust and Ethereum can work together with the help of the Ethers RS library. My name is James Buccini, and if you want to stay up to date with the latest developments in decentralized finance and blockchain development, then subscribe to the channel and check out my newsletter. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and thank you.